<laughs> Thank you. you. So right now, the position that Chris and I are in, me and my husband, is that we just got married. I just graduated college. We are moving from Illinois to living with my relatives and then hopefully ending up in Iowa so that I can make set income while he goes to school. Um, we are gonna be living with my relative because it's very convenient and it's close to the city in Iowa that Chris goes to school in. But before all of that and like amidst all of that actually is me having to apply for jobs. So that's what I'm doing today. And that's what I've been doing for the past like even when I was in school the last semester, I was applying for jobs, making sure that I could get something. I don't have a solid job. I don't have like an idea of what I want to do, but this process is something that I'm documenting, I guess. Chris and I were living with Chris's dad for like a week and a couple days, and we're moving in with our relatives starting in a couple days. Okay, I just... Um, spoke on the phone with this company called AMP for a sales rep place, which um, I worked sales as like um, a furry baby's salesperson, so like a dog, <laughs> a, a puppy store. I was like a salesperson for a puppy store, and um, I like told myself like I'm not gonna go back to sales ever since that like job, and here here I am. The people at AMP reached out to me first. And so I just like picked up the call and like now we had an informative like interview kind of a thing. And um, it's like the first job that has reached out to me realistically that I am looking at. Um, it's not my passion to work in sales or anything, but I'll do it. If you're my employer, you didn't hear that. So um, the only thing that's appealing about working the sales job is that they're the first ones to reach out to me. And they're the first ones that like seem to be on board with me working for them but the downside is is like sales do, it like they have a, a base pay but then they have like you can work up to this amount a year we have this many people making eighty six thousand a year but it's like i don't want to i don't want to be somewhere for two years put to potentially make like that much i would like something to give me set pay because we're a young couple i'm not going to be living there for more than like a couple years while chris finishes school so i want something concrete Applying for jobs is just, oh my god, my mom said it. She's like, applying for jobs is a job in itself, and it really is. And I'm just waiting to hear, I'm I'm wanting a couple of options. Like, I'm just going to throw it out into the universe, universe, um, or throw it to God. Please, God, give me multiple job options. So I'm asking God to give me multiple job options so I don't have to work this job. I don't want to have to work something. And I know that like coming out of school, it's kind of unrealistic to be like, you can't pick and choose. But if I set my expectations correctly, I feel as though I can pick and choose, you know? It's all about mindset. It really is sometimes. Like if I have to do this job, whatever, I have to. But if I don't have to, then I'm just gonna like reach for something that I maybe want a little bit more. But it's so hard. Look at some of these like other jobs that I've applied to, like the amount of people that have applied to them assistant director 296 to 300 people 26 to 30 people have applied 81 to 85 people have applied 941 to 945 people that's wild so like i said i had the informative meeting today and then next thursday i have like an interview so we'll see where all of that goes i don't know i'm not passionate but i'll take it <laughs>